I agree with Marie. I think the FBI probe was a sham. It was a whitewash. And I think most people understand that the constraints were put in place by the White House. This was a thoroughly political process. Well, I think, let me finish, problem. Josh. I think the damage here is to so many American institutions. We're past the point. Obviously, he is confirmed. They did this in a rush yesterday as if there's more to come, and they want to make sure that he's already in place. But the key here is the damage. We've seen damage to our intelligence institutions under this president, to the FBI okay. right. directly. We're not going to have a split. Hang on. We're talking I'm telling about this, you the Supreme this Court, the Supreme Court now is damaged, Chris, in a lasting way. All right. Let me... And, let me, let me and, no, and, and, oh, go ahead. Let, well, I, I was going to finish. finish. I was going to yeah, finish. We, we want to play well with, uh, with no, others no, I'm here. Well. All right. Finish my Chris, point. go ahead. Look, uh, this is going to intensify voters on both ends of the spectrum. This has turned up the volume. It was already a very intense, very embittered midterm. Wait, uh, we're going to get to politics in the next segment. What do you think of the argument that this was a sham, the FBI investigation, that it wasn't a serious investigation? Well, you know you're in Washington when uh, one week the Republicans tell you that the FBI is a rotten, corrupt institution that should not be listened to, and the Democrats say that they are the saviors of our republic, and then you wait a week and they just switch lanes, and the White House is turned around and loves the FBI and Democrats say they stink so I don't put I don't put too much I don't put too much stock in that because those are situational opinions and attitudes that are going to shift with the next controversy I, I, I think there's one thing that we need to